<laughs> Beaver Builder videos. Hey everybody, what is going on? Jonathan Perez here from SurefireWebServices.com and also from the new BeaverBuilderVideos.com. Now in this video, I just want to go over with you why I use the Genesis framework with every build that I make when I'm using Beaver Builder um, plugin. And I see a lot of people on Facebook and forums and just different avenues that use all sorts of different themes. And it's important to use what you're comfortable with and what you know. But for those that are trying to find a theme that they can use with Beaver Builder and not have any problems, my recommendation is 100% the Genesis framework. And I'm going to show you why right now. So as you see on my screen, right now I already have the framework installed and I also have the sample theme installed. If you're looking for the Genesis framework, you can head over to studiopress.com or you can use my affiliate link, wink, 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 and just click on shop for themes. Once you click this, you'll see Genesis framework right smack in your face. Details pricing, you buy it right there. It's 60 bucks, but trust me, it is the best 60 bucks that you will ever spend. If you think you're going to love this and you want to do and try other themes and things like that, um, the best bang for your buck will probably be the all theme package. And you can get that for $500. Not exactly, you know, pocket change, but you do get about 50 themes. And then anytime they add a new theme, you'll get it. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm just here to talk about how awesome the Genesis framework is to use with Beaver Builder. And let's get back into that. So I'm going to hop into my dashboard. You're going to see right here I have the Genesis framework. And why is this so cool? Well, the first thing that you're going to notice is if I go into theme settings, and I'm going to scroll down a little bit, you're going to have this default layout set up right here. And most themes just don't have that. Um, if you get a theme, a lot of times people struggle with how do I get a sidebar onto my theme or how do I display a full width website on my theme and with the Genesis framework this is all pre-built for you already so you have your header with one sidebar your header with a sidebar to the left then you have two sidebars left and right and then you have the sidebars with the content right in the middle and then boom you have your full width layout now why is this awesome with Beaver Builder well with Beaver Builder when you load a theme or a template nine out of ten times you're going to want to use a full width layout that's edge to edge now what if you don't know CSS because if I go in here and I click on a new page let's leave this I'm going to add a new page well let's just use the sample page and I'm going to click on page builder now once you go into the website with the Genesis framework you're gonna see it load within the content section which is what Beaver Builder does it takes over the main content section of WordPress so I'm just gonna click no thanks over here and you'll see now that my box is to the left I still have a primary sidebar on my right which is not controlled by Beaver Builder now here's the problem let's say I go into templates and I want a cool content page template I'm going to click this. I'm going to say yes, replace my existing layout. And oh no, it's here, but I want it to be full width. How do I do that? Now, most themes, you're probably going to struggle and go, I don't know what the theme options are, or I don't know what this is, or that is, or whatever the case may be. But with Genesis, you have two really amazing plugins, and I'm going to show you them right now. The first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead, go ahead and edit the page. If I scroll down, you're going to see you have your layout options right here on the page. So I'm going to click full width, which is this one right at the end, and I'm just going to go ahead and save it. So let's update that, and let's see what that did. Boom. So now I have a full width, so there's no sidebar anymore. And now if I click on page builder, I'm going to actually get the entire width of the content area. And there you go. So this is Beaver Builder's full width. And all of the all this padding on the side over here, this is all controlled with style sheets. 
but you don't know style sheets, <laughs> right? So let's 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 just keep diving into this a little deeper. And this is why Genesis is the the best framework I think for the Beaver Builder plugin. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go to the actually let's go to new. Um, I want to install a new plugin. I'm gonna show you these two cool plugins that you're going to love. If I click add new plugin. The first one is going to be called Title Toggle for Genesis, and I have it right here already. It's a very simple plugin by Bill Erickson. I'm going to install it right now, activate it, and all this does is if I go back to my pages and I click on the sample page, it's going to give me this little box that says, Do you want to hide the title? Now, why is that important? Well, if I'm trying to build a page, I'll go here, you're going to see sample page. This is the page title, but I don't want this to be sample page, I want this to be our services. Now for me to get this to look like this, I'd have to go into my style sheet, I'd have to center it, I'd have to do whatever I have to do in order to get this to look like this. Where with Beaver Builder, it's just much easier if I add the heading myself, because now I have full control over it. So this little plugin, so simple, just check off the box, click update, and all it does is it hides the title of the page. So now I don't have to deal with the title of the page, I can now control that with Beaver Builder. And I can use the Beaver Builder options to add a background color, whatever I want to do, I now have full control over it. But John, <laughs> I want this full width, how do I do that? Remember, we don't know CSS. Ah, what do we do? Well, the awesome community of Genesis is constantly adding plugins and new features to Genesis to make things easier for people. So if I go back into plugins, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click Add New, and I'm going to look up a cool plugin called the Genesis Dam Buster. Go ahead and search for that. And now you're going to have this awesome thing that I'm going to show this to you and you're going to love it. Let's install this, activate it, and what this plugin does is only with the Genesis framework, this gives you full control of how Genesis handles the layout. So before we said, okay, Genesis, I want you to be full width, which was this little thing right here. But we still had padding and spaces on the side. What if we literally just want edge to edge? I don't want a header. I don't want a footer. I just want my entire page, like a landing page, to be within the Genesis framework. Really easy. I have Genesis Dan Buster here. I'm going to click this, enable tweaks. And just to be brief, I'm going to show you what Enable Tweaks does. Once you check this off, anything within these tabs is going to now be affected on the page. So if I click on Template Width, you're going to see, okay, this is going to make my page full width. Header, this is going to remove the header. It's going to remove the primary navigation. It's going to remove the secondary navigation. Okay above the content. If you have anything above the content, it's going to remove the post title, which is similar to what this does. It's going to remove the breadcrumbs, the post image, which is your featured image, your entry header, which is usually your title and your image, post info, which is the author, comments, etc., and the edit link. Let's go below the content. You have your entry footer, which is your categories and your tags, post meta, which is that's what's in there. So this is like the wrapper and this is the actual categories and tags. Author box, author box, comments and after entry. So basically we're just we're literally just stripping the page of everything on it. We're getting rid of the header, the footer, the meta tags, the content tags, everything. And we're literally only leaving it with Beaver Builder. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna update this. And now, when we go into the page, you're going to see, well, let's just check it out. Bam. Now we have a full edge-to-edge, -edge, see no padding, no nothing here, edge-to-edge -edge website. And I'll move this in a little bit so you can see it. 
no footer, no nothing. This is 100% Beaver Builder page. Now, why is this awesome? Because when you want to create a landing page or you want to upsell something on your website and you don't want all the distractions of a navigation, of a, of a footer, of extra links, or whatever the case may be, you just click those simple settings and that's how it works. As a matter of fact, on beaverbuildervideos.com, if you install any of those landing pages, this is exactly how we've done them. It's super easy to set up, they're super easy to use. As if you have the Genesis framework, whatever theme you're using, I think 90% of the time, because sometimes some of those themes get a little tricky, but 90% of the time, you're just going to install that one plugin, Genesis Dam Buster click enable tweaks and you're gonna have a full width page and let's just check out what one of these home pages looks like on this so I'm gonna click back on page builder real quick we're gonna go to templates we're gonna go to templates <laughs> here we go and uh, let's say you want this to be your home page let's pick this thing right here replace the existing layout click done let's publish this and there you go. You have a full width page. Actually, this one's not full width. Let's make it full width. Click on this. And this is not a tutorial to you know, show you how to use Beaver Builder, but just to show you that Genesis is just such a powerful framework and it just makes it super easy to do whatever you want to do with it. So let's save that. And now we have a full width slider. So publish the changes, and that is really it. So that's why the Genesis framework is one of my favorite frameworks to use the Beaver Builder plug plugin with because you have full control of the pages. You can add, remove different elements of that page with that Beaver Builder Dam Buster plugin, and um, it just makes it super easy. So check out uh, the Genesis framework if you're not sure what theme to, to use or what theme to try to grow on and I think you're actually really going to love it. And that's it. Thank you very much.